Gone from an 847 area code. You are on the Majority Report. Janine Garofalo is here with us. Oh, this is Josh from Chicago. Hello, Josh. What's on your mind? Well, I'm very much looking forward to this uh, guide to going home to your conservative friends and relatives for Thanksgiving. I was wondering if I could kick that off. Please do. Thank you for that, because it, it's good to move on from what yes. we've been talking about and from Sean Hannity. Well, it's not so much a guide. Yeah. It's more of a, dis- a roundtable discussion. Yes. Um, and as always, my answer remains the same about this, because my most of my family at this point lives in Texas, and most of them are uh, Republican. Now, some of them abstained from voting altogether, but that still doesn't do it for Gosh. me, because what means is they didn't, no. they didn't vote for the, one of the most qualified candidates, Hillary Clinton, uh, as some type of statement. So that doesn't do it for me either. But for the most part, they are hardcore right-wingers, and I have no truck with it. I have no desire to indulge it. And, you know, as, as the hurricanes hit and as climate chaos becomes more real, this is, this is connected, by the way, uh, that there, I find it hard to be as sympathetic to uh, Trump people uh, when storms hit, when there's natural disasters and they take government aid, when they take mm. all the things they speak against, all the things they claim to be against, small, you know, they don't, that I just feel like that, that they should use their bootstrap. You know what I mean? Like there's a limited amount of resources and I think an algorithm should be in play, like verified fan, <laughs> That's where you vet who you give aid to. That how did you, you vote? Like What's Miller your relationship now, to be Alex careful. Jones? What, what is you, <laughs> how do you feel about climate? Do you not believe in climate change? Then you don't get dry clothes and a, and a bottled water. I feel like that. Right, how well, are you going to learn? Let's how let's you learn if right. you don't pay the price? So you were, but your overall advice is don't go home. No, well, yes, I don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, uh, I'm uh, going home, unfortunately. My ticket's booked. I can't change it. All right, but, but so why, Josh, but why what's your, go uh, what's your question? Suffer? What's I mean, what's what? What can what can Janine well, help you with in the event that uh, it's impossible to I have, cancel your ticket? I have two very conservative friends. One who uh, thought the Ken 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 show was a real show. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> That's a keeper. Dude, Next. your friend is a retard. <laughs> but um, one voted for Trump, one didn't, but they both idolized Paul Ryan, which I find absolutely Well, disgusting. first Why of all, you tell them that Paul Ryan never read The Fountainhead and or Atlas Shrugged, and if he, he certainly didn't finish them. And I feel like Paul Ryan is indicative of a, a poor character, uh, uncharitable vision of the world, and just a nasty, nasty person. And if you're how they are your friends, I don't understand because there's so much that separates the Trump Paul Ryan people from reasonable people that I, I don't understand how you can get past their Trump Paul Ryan support because it's it speaks hard. volumes it's about hard. them. Well, isn't it incumbent upon them to learn how to deal with you since you're on the right side of history? <laughs> That's what I should say, Janine. Well, yeah, feel free. There you go. Feel free. There you go, Josh. There's your Josh, answer. Josh, I would stay away from them if Edgy, I were you, though. Either stay away or tell them that they tell should them that be. Tell them that they are the ones they should that be need to do their due diligence you. and learn where you're coming from. Appreciate the call, Josh. Good luck. All right. Sounds like you're going to need it, buddy. Happy holidays. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.